Have a nice day, everyone. I will continue to explain aircraft structure repair. I think this, I think that is the end of the these videos about this subject. The damage identification tools. What the tools which we used for damage classification or identification or measurement. Measuring a dent or scratch or jaw using filler gauge. This is the filler gauge, okay. The set with measurement range between 0 0.05 millimeter equal 0 0.002 inch and one millimeter okay this is the filler gauge okay the second thing is straight straight edge here straight edge the third the depth micrometer the depth micrometer there is uh, many types of this micrometer this is a digital okay the other is the optical here the light here switch on the light here okay this is the depth micrometer okay the other the scale the scale to measure the length and the width of the damage. Here is the scale. Okay. This is the procedure how to measure the depth of the dent. You put the straight edge here and using the filler gauge here. Okay. But take care, follow the instructions of your aircraft type structure repair manual to remove corrosion, any paints, okay, before you measure the depths. This is the dial, the digital. Put the stand here, okay, and this is, take care, you must adjust the zero position for that before you measure the depth. This is other tools to determine the angle of the damage if there is a wedge or like that. Maybe use the dividers here to take the any space and put it on the scale here to determine the measurement how many millimeter or how many centimeter so and so. Okay. After that, take care, go to the structure repair manual of your aircraft type. Here, such as example for Airbus here. The full identification of the affected area this is a shape using the identification where page block here of the subject of sub chapter of each of the chapters from 25 to uh, 52 sorry 52 which he adores until to go to 57 wings okay 
according to the original structural data and the actual damage characteristics. It is then possible to determine whether the damage is within the defined allowable, allowable limits or not, where you go to block page 101 until to 199. Okay, if the damage is within the allowable limits, okay, you will go to the standard procedures in chapter 51. If the damage is above the limits, you must check whether repair is available or applicable within the repair page block here, 201 until 999. Again, take care, go to your structure repair manual of your aircraft type, a Boeing or a Falcon or Bombardier, any type of your aircraft, you must follow that. Here is just for an example. I think that is enough. And this is some notes for to begin your study or clarification for any problem in the structure repair manual. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye.